Number one, zeal. Retirement is a time for reflection and although Zuma never spent time in Russia during his exile, unlike many of his compatriots, there is no doubt that a zeal could have strike the required chord. The absolute last word is unsubtle Soviet manufacturing legacy. Zeal limousines have a lot of space with facing second and third row conference seating, an enormous 7.7 litre. They run forever too, requiring very little maintenance due to the absence of electronics and, well, any modern technology in general. Number 2. Skip your technology's griefing. Often our friends are the greatest influence on the choice of vehicle we buy. You might recall this griefing as the enormous vehicle which was controversially parked at the Guptas Saxon World Compound in 2017. If you feel that people bored you ill and still wish to travel across the country to see its splendor or pop down the local fast food place to get your own take out, there is surely nothing safer to attempt it in than a griffin. Locally made, it features a B7 or more rating, which means anything a person can hold and fire at it won't make much of an impression. The blast deflecting V-shaped hole can withstand a 14 kg TNT detonation and you can load it full of stuff too thanks to a 6.75 ton payload rating it's obviously not quick because it weighs 23 tons top speed 100 kilometers per hour but the 350 kilowatt mercedes-benz diesel engine also makes 2300 nm which should help it push anything out of the way impressive cruising range too at 1,000 kilometers, albeit on a 280-liter tank of fuel. Number three, Nissan Almera. A Russian state limousine, then a South African-built armor vehicle. Now this, yes, because the Almera is so fantastically stealthy. If Zuma would like to go from Kandla to visit an acquaintance and does not wish for much fuss to make of his presence, there is certainly no better way to travel in a Almera. It's budget-friendly, frugal and delivers an adequate ride in relative comfort. It's a staple among rental cars and this allows it to blend in our roads. The Nissan has an added benefit in being virtually indestructible too with a great supply network locally. People pride themselves on the toughness and durability of their beckies, but South African government departments and rental companies have proven that Almera has inherited some of Nissan patrol DNA. They travel to amazing places on gravel roads in rural South Africa. Almera's steadfast Japanese reliability could be a crucial decision point for Zuma as whatever he settles on buying as his retirement car will have to last a good few years. Number 4. Ford Ranger If you are going to retire to a rural part of South Africa, a Becky makes perhaps more sense than any other vehicle. Robust suspension to avoid immobility. If you strike a pothole at speed and all that load back capacity for transporting well staff, Zuma would probably default to what most South Africans do and choose a Becky. In this case, Ford's enormously popular Ranger. Why do we think you would prefer this over any rival Becky? Because we've got images of him enjoying a drive in the Ranger. That's why.